It is time. <clears throat> it is finally back. Yeah. Supermarket simulator. Woo! Hey, yo, what's poppin'? Party people. I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Let me just, let me just get straight into it. The new super lady, get out the way! The new supermarket. We have expanded. We have a restocker now. We have the storage room, which has a bunch of boxes from extra stuff that I bought. Arnold is still here doing a great job. Off screen, he was fired for a second because I may have misclicked something on the computer, but then I had to rehire him because he did just such a good job. And we now have another register for me to hop on. Uh, whenever things get a little hectic for Sir Arnold, we are now selling two shelf two, A person two, who thinks all the time two rows worth of items on a shelf Because stuff started to go out of stock really fast and instead of just having to pay attention to what was going out of stock I ended up buying two length two Why am I having such a hard time explaining this? I have a system going on. Okay? All right, without that be with all that being said, um, let's get into the day. Arnold, oh, it's been a long time since you've been on camera, buddy. Say hi to the people. Good. I got my fridges and everything. So it doesn't look, it doesn't look all that fancy right now. It doesn't look all that fancy, Smanchy. But I think, yeah, I paid off my bills for the day. Um, what I want to do is I want to hire a second cashier because I'm almost at 400 checkouts. One thing that I didn't know when I first started playing this game was that once you do have a cashier, in order to increase your checkouts, that in order to complete your total checkouts, um, you have to be the one to do that. So even though you already have a cashier, it's not going to fill up your total checkouts because you're not the one doing it. So I was like, why are my checkouts not going up? I should be able to buy a new cashier I should be able to hire somebody else that's when I found out that it has to be you who does the checkouts have a good day thanks for coming to that one grocery store will we leave you more satisfied than your spouse oh hello lady hello ma'am oh card that's my favorite form of payment oh, oh. I love when the people pay with card the only thing I really need to do oh and then look at him look at I gotta give him a name too uh, so we got Arnold, we got Reginald. Arnold and Reginald. Yes. So I got to pay attention to when the shelves start getting low. Because that's when I need to start purchasing, purchasing stuff. I can't speak to me. I'm too excited. And it looks like our oil is running pretty low. We're going to want to buy some more of that. Some more oil, bread, and then the big milks. Oil, bread, big milks. Oil, bread. I'm coming! I need to relax. This is a more relaxing game than what I've been playing recently. So, I just need to chill, have a good time. Realize that not everybody is out to hurt me. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad. I understand your frustration. I'll be right there. Oh, perfect. I love when you give me exact change. I wish everybody would do that every time. You know, this might be a good game for kids to play, honestly. It teaches them the the values of money and how to count change. Uh, oh, yeah, we're really running out of oil. It teaches them the value of money and how to count change. I think it teaches some great life skills about how to manage a grocery store, which I'm not quite sure why a child would need to know that right away. But I think the money is the most important part of the learning experience. Oh! I think I gave him less than what he was supposed to get back uh oh i was not paying attention okay what are we running low on what are we running low on what are we running low on i have my restocker taking care of some of the stuff in the fridge uh spaghetti spaghetti and more oil 7 25 thank you for shopping at that one grocery store will we leave you more satisfied than your spouse ha <laughs> ha oh man i should put that on a t-shirt we're running low on the pastas. Uh, yeah, we're running low on pastas. Well, it's seven o'clock. We sh we might be fine for the day. 
Man, I also do have to check on my restock, my storage shelf. Because that stuff could run out pretty quickly, too. Thank you for paying with card. Oh my god, I love you. I kiss you. I can make out with you. Oh, 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 oh. We're running low on sugar and flour. I gotta buy that susu. I gotta buy the susu. Gotta quickly buy the susu. We're gonna run out of the susu. No, no, not that flour. Oh, damn it. I meant the red flour. <laughs> Oh, it's after nine. Everybody get out. Everybody out of the store. Right now. Oh, oh, there's people at my register. Whoops. Look at the efficiency. I'm so much faster than Arnold. I wish there was a way that you could upgrade your... Um, your cashiers and your, uh, your, your dudes. I wish there was a way that you could upgrade your workers. Why am I having such a hard time saying that? Okay, look at that. Look at the profits that we're making. Now that we have, okay. Orange juice went down, peanut butter went up, sugar went down. Orange juice, gotta change the price of the orange juice. 293, so we're gonna do two, 270, susu sugar. 457 so we're gonna do four or uh, peanut butter 694 we're gonna do 670 as well sweet and now I need to buy products that I have been missing out on the only part that I struggle with about having a restocker and storage is that sometimes I may end up accidentally buying something that I don't need like with the flour, for example, I didn't even know that I had uh, flour storage back here. So even if I had started running out of flour, I probably would have bought that, forgetting that Reginald over here could easily restock the flour himself because there's already flour back here. Same thing with the pastas. So I know that a lot of the stuff in the refrigerator I have storage for. Um, I need to buy more orange juice. <laughs> I got to keep in mind that he can restock some of the stuff back here himself. I like to keep two boxes each that way because it shows you how much stuff that he can restock right here so he would easily start to run out of cheese because i've seen how quickly the cheese can go away the uh eggs excuse me the eggs i need to restock as well and maybe get him some more of the sprite oh should we buy a product license should we buy a product license? I'm kind of scared because like I have the, I could buy, I could easily buy another shelf. There's no question about that. If I do one more day, if I just pay off my bills, buy the products that I need to buy for the day. And then I should have about like 2,000, 23,000 for the next day. I can buy another shelf, buy the product license, and then buy the products for said shelf. And we should be able, oh. Oh, it's about the money. It's about the money. I also want to keep in mind that I still have yet to buy a loan. No payments, no loans taken. I'm doing pretty good at loan, and I'm not, not taking loan. <laughs> I need to calm down. Oh my god. My words are getting jumbled up because I just, I get too giddy about this game. Look at this, alright? Check this out, right? I have just about nearly fully restocked everything on the shelf. I have restocked everything within my storage, so Reginald is ready for the day. I could get him some more apple juice. But, even after all of that, I still have $900. So once I start this day, and I make my bands, me and Arnold together, okay? We will have enough to get a product license, a shelf, and the products for that shelf. Y'all, y'all really not seeing the vision. like. And we are ready to start the day. <laughs> Arnold! Arnold, I'm so happy to see you today. I'm going to go get us some customers. Come on, come on, taxi driver. Sir, do you have anybody in there who may need some groceries from that one grocery store? Will we leave you more satisfied than your spouse? <laughs> you over there. You look like an unsatisfied spouse person. <laughs> do you want to come into that one grocery store? Ah, uh, I knew it. You too? 
Are you guys like married or something? Oh, I see. I see. I understand what's going on here. You both are in the middle of a divorce. And so in order to cope, you shop at that one grocery store. I fucks with it. I vibe. I'm getting the vibes. I'm so sorry to hear about your relationship, but I'm so happy to hear that my products are being sold to the people who need it most. The credit card? This must be the wife's credit card, huh? You guys are going through a really rough divorce. Well, have a good one. Don't make her too angry. Make sure to ease your way into the divorce. If you guys aren't already going through it. I don't know. I don't know the first thing about marriage. <laughs> Woo! I am on fire. Okay. Um, I just refilled the red flower. So that's kind of how I've been uh, keeping track of like the kind of flower that I need. Because if I just go for flower... They, I think, are both labeled flower, but they're different colors because they're different brands. So that's how I got the blue flower mixed up because I needed the red flower and I just ended up buying the blue flower. So if I call it blue flower and I call it red flower when I go to purchase them, I then know exactly which one I need to buy so that I don't end up buying duplicates and still end up having to buy the one that I actually need. Does that make sense? I'm managing a store, okay? I, I gotta figure out some way to keep my sanity intact so that I can buy the proper products and not indulge too much on the things that I don't need. Look at that. 3 o'clock and we've already made $1,300 again. I'm getting so good at this game. I feel like at this point I could be a little further than I actually am, but because I'm so scared of my money, because I'm so scared of going bankrupt, I don't want to have to take out loans. I don't want to have to do that. I want to be able to complete this without taking out loans. And I feel like I could easily do that. Like, there's... It's not hard. Because I've made it this far without taking out any loans. So are you sure you don't want to buy more? We have the finest goods here at that one. Oh, I, I need more. People have been buying this flower up. Jesus. Do I have it set to the right price? Because I know the only reason why I would buy... An, ungodly amount of something as if it was like for cheap 558 yeah that's a reasonable price for some flour i don't see why it's going off the shelf so called spaghetti i need spaghetti and bread S uh, bread sketty bread and spaghetti 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 west be nice if there was a sequel to that game Loki kind of- where's the spaghetti? Oh, I ran out. Shit. Should have bought two boxes of it. Yeah, I know. I see you. You just give me a second. I'm restocking my shelves because you savage animals just keep buying my stuff up. Not that that's a problem. I very much appreciate your patronage. Oh, exact change. Making my day so much easier. Uh, Arnold, Reginald, one of you, can you please flip the sign to close? No, I have to flip the sign to close. Hold on. Four more people start walking in here. $33. We like that. You're my last guy. Let's make it quick. I got places to be. I have a pillow to go snuggle because I have nobody to go home to. $731 in total profits. Cola sodas have gone down. The cereal has gone up. I'm going to buy another shelf. Add that to the cart. We're going to buy... Well, first, we're going to pay off these bills. Then we're going to buy a product license. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then we're going to go to our new products. And we're going to buy... Two cakes. Another two cakes. Two candies. Two new cereals. Oh, we have new cereal. Two chocolate bars. Two yogurts. Oh, I hit the max. Fuck. Okay. The chocolate bar was the last thing. So let's purchase that. Purchase the two candies. Bada bop boom. Take our shelf. I think. I think we'll place it here. Very particular about where my shelves go. 
Uh... <laughs> it's not that serious. It's never been that serious, but it kind of is. These are the cakes. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited that we have a new product now. Ah, uh, see, I want to keep the cereals together. Shit. Okay. Here's what I've been doing to reorganize my shelves. Because if you remember, I kind of had everything together. So then when I started making two rows of each of the same two rows of the same product, I had to then buy the product for the stuff. So since I'm going to be moving the spaghetti, I'm going to be buying more spaghetti. So just here, watch this, watch this. Here's the plan. Now if I can find where the spaghetti went. <laughs> Where's the spaghetti that I just ordered? <laughs> I did hit purchase, right? I did. So where's the spaghetti? There. Nope, that's sugar. That's fine. I'll replace that. Ah, spaghetti. Okay. So I'm going to end up putting the spaghetti on this bottom shelf here. And then I'm going to take the spaghetti that's already on the shelf. And then move it down to this next shelf. And then boom. And then I just take away these labels. And now I put the new product here. And that's kind of how I've been doing it. So now we got Choco Peaky. What is this called? Choco. Choky Pick. Choky Pick Chocolate Cereal. <laughs> and we have Crispy Chibi. Market price is $4.20. Nice. Nice. So we're going to do four. $4 is a reasonable price, for, reasonable price for that. Oh, it needs to be put in a fridge. Okay. All right. I got that. I don't know why my first instinct wasn't to put yogurt in the fridge. This looks like that fancy Ghirardelli shit. That's that fancy Godiva. Godiva? Godiva? I don't care. Oh, we've got more yogurt. Okay, well, <laughs> the shelf is full. But that's fine. We're not going to need to buy another uh, fridge until we have another product license for more fridge-related items. Which, if I look at my licenses, the next refrigerated... The next refrigerated related item. Ooh, our next product license is gonna have some non-food related stuff. Let's see, bleach, cleaner, dishwasher tablet, hand soap, shampoo, toilet. So we're not gonna need a fridge <clears throat> for any of that. If anything, we're gonna need a new shelf. Uh, cheese mozzarella, cheese parmesan, honey, tuna, egg four pack, sugar. So we're gonna need a new fridge for this product license. But we're not gonna buy that just yet because we just bought a new product license. 356, we're almost at 400. And then store level needs to be level 20. We're at level 18. I think after today, we should be at level 19 and then give it like three more days. We'll be at level 20. The video ends when I get a cashier. Oh, look at this. I don't know why I didn't buy two chocolates. I think I hit the max. I think I hit the max for the products. And now we are ready for the day. We have our yogurt at the bottom. Oh, oh, I'm so glad that I caught that. Yogurt was the only thing that I hadn't set a price for. 170, 175. Yogurt was the only thing that I didn't have a price for. I had priced everything new and I forgot about the yogurt. But we are now fully stocked. Almost. Not everything is fully stocked, but like. Like I said, people aren't going to go through the cereals that fast. I say that and watch that be the first thing to go. But for the most part, everything is fully stocked. We have everything restocked in the storage. So Reginald is good to go. Arnold and I, we're ready for the day. And bada ba boom, we have a new product license. We're selling new product entirely. Ugh, we're on that road to a second cashier. We are on that road to a second cashier. And then once we get two cashiers, we can then re we can then focus on purchasing new items again and leaving up the the stocking to Reginald. Arnold and our new cashier are gonna be doing their thing and we'll be able to focus more on expanding the store. Because that's gonna be my next goal, is making the money to expand the store again. Hello, sir. You look like you got a job as a lumberjack. Could I offer you in some some coffee good for lumberjacking <laughs> pack some milk that's good that's good that's a good one tea okay you got a bit of a healthier lifestyle than i thought you know milk and tea he picked up the peanut but oh hi 
That was on me. I'm so sorry. I was paying attention to one guy when I should have been paying attention to all of my people. Should have been paying attention to all my guests. Quite the healthy lifestyle for such cheap. You're doing good, man. Keep it up. Oh, I see you over there buying new product. Oh, you excited for the new product? I should have signs up. I should let people know that we have new products here at the store. But we've gotten so much traction since I first started the game. Or since I first opened the store. Sorry, we got a can't break immersion. Since I first opened my store, we've gotten so much traction. I barely have time to get out there and let people know that the store is open. That we have new product. I gotta buy that pack of milk. Yeah, that's running fast. Ooh, yogurt. It's a good choice. Good choice. Came in today. Let your friends know that we're selling yogurt now. Let them know that we're selling cake, and cookies, candy. We got all the stuff that the kids want. Tell the parents who have kids to come into the store too. So Reginald, I'm saying though, like I could easily give you a salary increase if you wanted to tell your. Oh shit! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Wait! 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 wait. I'll be right with you. Uh -huh. Any, yeah, that's not how that works. Uh, 75, 85. Math was never my strong suit. So if it ever looks like I'm not doing the, the change properly, that's probably why. All right, what we got here today? Just a box of sugar? You sure you don't want more? We definitely have more. We got candy now. Candy, yogurt, new cereal. I see this man is indulging in some of our newer products. Quite the wise guy, quite the man of culture. And now, also, with the new products, people aren't going to be buying as much of, I don't know exactly how the AI is going to work, but I would assume that with new product on the shelves, people aren't going to be buying things up as much. We're still doing pretty good on a lot of products, which is awesome. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait, wait, the coffee, the coffee, the roast, coffee roast, shit, that's expensive. Do people really buy expensive coffee like this? Is it really that serious? All right, I'm gonna help you guys out before the store closes. One, two. Damn! Don't spend it all in one place. Five. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, get that back. Bop. All right. We're closed. No more people are allowed to come into the store. Perfect. So anyways, Arnold, as I was saying, you know, if uh, if you want a little bit of a pay increase, you're going to have to let your friends know that we're hiring. Any help is much appreciated at the time being. If I find that they are not suited for the job, then I will fire them until I can get some more responsible help. But until then, I mean, if you, if you got some friends, let them know. Let them know we're hiring. I might be able to hook him up with a job. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Let's see what profits we made. Oh, of course. We lost total profit. But I think that is only because I bought the product license and all the product for that license. Turco soda went down, the salt went down, and the bond pop like cake. I literally just bought this. 196? We'll do 175. 170. Uh, Turco soda. 204. 175. 199. Ba da ba. Boom. Now I just need to restock the shelves and we'll be ready for the day. And then I'm going to get you a friend. Not the one that sits outside. I don't know if you guys are cool or not, but I mean, I heard some beef between you two. I heard, like, you know, you just got it with this girl and he was already flirting with her. I mean, You only, you, you only want one yogurt? I mean, like, are you, are you on a diet? It's okay to indulge in some yogurt. I mean, it's Greek too. If that makes you feel any better, do you want more yogurt? Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to make a profit here. It's Greek. It's supposed to be less fattening, less health. I mean, healthier. It has come to my attention that once you give the restocker more items to stock, 
they are going to get slower at stocking items because they have more items to restock. <laughs> As you can see, Reginald is still restocking the shelves with items that we currently need. We're almost out of water. We're completely out of, well, I guess not completely, but I don't quite know how he's restocking the fridges because I think he's only doing, if he has what looks like a full amount. No, I guess not. I don't know. I have no idea how he's restocking these fridges, but he's taking forever. He's doing a pretty slow job at it, but we made 2300 for the day. And we're halfway to a level store level 20 so we're getting pretty damn close to being able to hire being able to hire oh and i need one more checkout in order to do it i'm ready for it i'm ready for a new cashier my next step i think is gonna be what did i say my next step was gonna be was it expanding the store or I think I said my next step was expanding the store, but I really need to get a new restocker. And in order to do that, I need to buy three racks. And in order to fit three racks into my storage, I need to expand the storage. And in order to do that, I need to have the money to expand the storage. And ah, <laughs> Woo! let's finish the day. How's our profits? Okay. 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 Ooh, we are so close to store level 20. We are so close to our level 20. If we don't get it by the end of today, I'm actually gonna cry. Cause there's no reason why we shouldn't. We are like right there. I might make you guys work overtime just so we can get more people in here. And I'm not paying you extra. I've been keeping track of all the stuff that I need to purchase. Like peanut butter and spaghetti. My eyes get adjusted to the game and I start to notice things like at rapid speeds. So it's like, I look at the shelves, boom, I know that I'm missing out on spaghetti. And then I look at the shelves and boom, I know that I need to buy uh, more peanut butter. So it's like, I'm low key kind of doing shit. Need rice. Oh, my bad, my bad. I didn't even realize that you guys were standing there waiting on me. Oh, time for the day to end. I'm making you work just a little bit of overtime, Reginald and Arnold. You guys will get to go home soon. Because we are almost at store level 20. Yes! We did it! Woo! Hey, get the fuck out of my store. I'm hiring. I'm hiring a new guy. Hiring. Boom. Yes! Yeah, Arnold, you didn't tell me that you had a twin. I wish that our supermarket didn't look so sexist. Uh, like, I'd be down to hire some female workers. <laughs> we only have men working here. <laughs> we look so... All right. Anyways. Uh, 41 satisfied customers, a total of 732 profit. Yes! So the chibi cereal went down... Flour went up, peanut butter and bottled water went down. Bottled water, 244. Was that bottled water? Wait, what all went down? Yeah, the bottled water went down, which would imply that the price was ever up. Do I have to check all of these even if it says that, even if it doesn't say that the price went up or anything? Yeah, see, the price never went up for me. <laughs> That's probably why people were buying out my shit so fast after restocking all my shelves hiring a second guy oh i need more of the yellow oil hold on give me one second after mostly restocking our shelves after hiring a second guy after restocking my storage we still have 2400 dollars i think it's time we buy a new section of the store pay off my bills chump change at this point um what a new section of the store is 2600 Oh my goodness. I thought it was 2200 Damn. Damn. I'm going to work one more day so that I can get that, so that I can get that uh, new section of the store. Hold up. You look like you could work here. Why do you look like you're dressed to work for me? 
Hold up! Sir, do you want a job? Would you like to work here? I mean, no, I need <laughs> I need more women. Now that I have two cashiers, I can go out and try to make some profit off of people who are just walking. Ma'am, I know you just finished shopping for me, but would you like to work for me? You could Oh, hello. You look like you could do numbers. And I'm not I'm not this is weird. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm just gonna stick to my job. People will get the wrong idea if I'd be like, oh yeah, you look like you would do numbers at this store. You look like you would bring in lots of guests. They'd be like, oh, so you're trying to say that I? it's all about the looks? I just need more women working at the store so that they don't think that we're sexist here. Because we're definitely not. I don't know why the game only hires men. It's not like it gives me an option either. Listen to the productivity, bro. Listen to the beep, beep. Beep, beep. Just wait on it, wait on it. The efficiency, oh my God. I'm telling you, having two cashiers, having one was the best thing that happened to me, but that was before I expanded my store. Now having two and a restocker, this is a family right here. This is a family. I'm on my Fast and Furious shit. And we're done for the day. Look at that, 3,100. I'm gonna, I'm predicting 30, 3,200, maybe close to 3,300 by the time these people leave the store. I could be very wrong, because numbers, again, not my strong suit. But it, it looks like, yeah, yeah, 3,300 for sure. 3,300 in the bag. 3,300? Yeah, baby! Look at that! Look at that! 3,300 in the day! Woohoo! One product not found. There was one guy who walked out at like the last second as Reginald was refilling the cheese. He said he couldn't find the cheese. I need him to be faster. But other than that, other than that, bro, yogurt went up, cake went up, rice went down. And now with the acquired money that I have collected, it is time to expand the store. Oh shit! Look at that! Yeah! So I think once I... Mmm. I've got an idea now. So I think I'm gonna move the fridges over here. And then have all these just be shelves. But I'm gonna do all that in the next video because I... I... I've been having too much fun with this. Okay, so we got Arnold, Reginald, and... Donald. Donald, Arnold, Reginald. I don't know where these names are coming from. They all sound the same. They all end in old. So I think, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I mean, if you guys have better names for them, let me know down in the comments. But for right now we have Arnold, Donald and Reginald. If you want to see my last video, which was part three of a difficult game about climbing, it's getting intense. I'm getting heated each time I play this game, but I am enjoying it. I know you guys don't think that I am, because of how I'm raging, but it's all part of the fun. I know that it's just a game at the end of the day. That'll be linked somewhere around here. If you wanna see my last video of Supermarket Simulator, that'll be linked somewhere around here as well. We're making strides, we're making big moves. I'm excited to see how big the supermarket is actually gonna get. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys, stay safe out there. Take it easy and big buddy out. Arnold, Reginald, and Donald, I'm Done! <laughs>